Hey everyone, this is Johnny from johnnyfd.com and welcome to this month's income report. I am in a co-working space in Portugal. So big change from Chiang Mai, where I'm normally based. I was actually there for the first two weeks of this month, working my butt off, trying to get everything launched and ready for me to come on this big trip because I'm going to be in Europe for three months. And I am here and it's been amazing. So the last two weeks, I actually have not worked at all. This is actually the second co-working space I've been in. Uh, as a, like second working day in the last two weeks. Every day, I, aside from that, I worked for like half an hour, you know, just whenever I wanted, just at night, like at the hostel or something. So really excited to be able to share with you what life and what income is like when you're not working, when you're not hustling. And to be honest, it was a little bit scary because I thought, you know what, maybe I should just work harder. Maybe I should hustle uh, and just keep working because, you know, as I say, if you, if you, as an entrepreneur, if you lose momentum or you stop creating, you stop working, you don't, you know, improve, you don't grow, right? But at the same time, you don't want to burn yourself out. So that's what I've decided. I said, you know what, let me enjoy Europe. Been on a different walking tour every single day. If you guys want to check out the previous blog post, uh, Johnny's Nomad Guide to Lisbon, uh, there's a video of everything I, I've done uh, while I've been here, and it's been really fun. But want to have this post be specifically on income. So how much passive income can you still make even though you're not working? Everything's been set up. Uh, I know it's going to be less than it was last month because last month was my biggest month ever because I sold my dropshipping store uh, for $60,000. So I knew that income was gone, but also uh, the income that I would get from running that store, which is normally about two to $3,000 a month, that's gone as well. So I knew coming into this, not only did I not work for half the month, not only do I not have that one-time balloon payment from selling my store, but I also am missing a big core part of my income, which for a long time was my only income. If you guys go back to my my income reports from just you know two years ago, my draw shipping store, I only had one at the time, and that was like my main income source. So that was before I created all these other passive income streams. So let's take a look to see what it's happening this month. All right, so first off, we have this baller palace that I got to visit, and it was so amazing to see stuff like this. I mean, it's it's one of those things where you have to see it in person because in the photo it looks sick, but in person I guarantee you it looks even sicker. Uh, but let's talk about the actual income. So my books, uh, I have Toys and Talent, Life Changes Quick, both written, you know, what, two years ago, three years ago now, still bringing in profit income, uh, passive income, $257. Uh, and it's a slight increase from the month before. But what I'm so excited about is the new reviews. So thank you to Nolan uh, Barger for writing, reading both books and actually reviewing both books. And to Mr. T, um, who's actually from the, the UK store. So uh, thank you for that review as well. Uh, Udemy is new. Well, not new, but I have a new course called Dropship Lab, Six Figure Formula. And... The reason why I decided to launch it on Udemy and not on my own platform is because I knew how long it would take for me to build it onto a WordPress site like I did Ernest Affiliate, and I wanted to be able to, to get it out there ASAP, as quickly as possible, uh, because it's the one thing that I was able to do within 30 days before coming on this trip, before coming on this three-month trip. I don't want to have a big commitment. And I, the downside is on Udemy, you can only charge a maximum of $50 for a course. So I had to price it low, but I figured, you know what? I'd rather have more students uh, get in on this course at a lower price than spend three months building up a platform um, and having it be higher. And if anything, I can always move it off of Udemy later on. So that's that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, so I had my biggest profit month of Udemy ever, uh, but large part thanks to this new course. So in total, I made... $1,611 from Udemy, which is amazing because the coolest thing about it is even though almost a thousand of it was my own promotions, a lot of it is actually organic. And that's actually the goal is for me not to even have to talk about Dropship Lab ever again and just have uh, Udemy uh, sell it for me, especially when people like Adrian, thank you, Adrian, for leaving this great review. And then, you know, really kind of just breaks down what Dropship Lab is. So if you guys <clears throat> don't know what my new course is about, it's about how to use formulas to have, to create multiple income streams from your job store. So you might only be making 
let's say $2,000 a month from a job shipping store, but you want to get to six figures, what are you going to do? Are you going to open uh, five more stores? Uh, or you can create five more streams of income. And if you want to take a look at dropshiplab.com, it explains the whole thing. So my actual income from dropshipping went down because I used to have two stores. Now I only have one. So pretty much it just got cut in half, uh, especially because that store you know, would consistently make around $2,000 a month or so. So last month, <clears throat> I got 60 grand for it. If you don't know the story behind that, uh, go ahead and click that link uh, down below and you can see the whole story behind why I sold the store, you know, how I got that evaluation um, and what I'm planning on doing next. But you know what, very happy, still have one store happening. Um, our expenses, <clears throat> especially our advertising, was a little bit high this month, uh, but total net profit almost two thousand dollars. So still pretty happy with that uh, for you know being a another stream of semi passive income. Uh, Larissa normally works on this one uh, full time, and by full time I mean she works on it for about an hour a day, and she actually has um, another business that she is she has she has done uh, on the side, more of a in person uh, commerce business. So she took all the skills she learned from running her Joshua stores and she created an offline business uh, selling just in South Africa where she's living. And want to do a big congratulations to Larissa. Uh, she just had a baby, so a beautiful baby boy and I am now an uncle. So even though we are no longer together, we are still business partners running the store, we still love each other, we still support each other and we still talk all the time uh, You know, because of the store but also just because we care about each other. So the best part of it is now that she's a full-time stay-at-home mom, instead of you know going to a job where she has to get a babysitter, especially because she's a single mom, she could just run the job shipping store from home. And because it doesn't take that much time, she could also run her other business, which is actually selling baby stuff. Uh, so it's actually perfect. So she's you know she gets to to use this e-commerce and job shipping knowledge and sell something that like really fits her needs uh, and she can even sell it locally and get, you know, uh, get stores and wholesalers to, to, to buy from her. So if you wanted to get started with Josh, I mean, you can check out Anton's course, antonmethod.com, or you can click uh, the link and get my PDF uh, where I have links to every single thing I use, you know, and it includes things like 20% off coupons to Shopify, which ends up saving you a lot of money throughout the years because you're probably going to run your store for a few years before you sell it and you're saving 20% off your bill every month. So no reason not to use it. Now, what's really cool is I have a new income stream from that $60,000 that I got from selling my Josh Ring store. I invested it and investments pay dividends. Uh, there's also growth. Uh, on average, the stock market has grown around you know, 10% over the last 100 years. Uh, there's some months that it's going to be down by 30% and some months it's going to be up a bit. But this is what I'm exploring in the new podcast called Invest Like a Boss, where me and my host, co-host Sam Marks, we explore all the different avenues on, on modern day investing. So instead of getting mutual funds or going through like a financial manager, like a lot of, you know, the older generation did, but they didn't really understand what they were doing. They're paying all these crazy fees for these, you know, insane things. Now we're looking into things like Wealthfront, Betterment, uh, investing in REITs, using Vanguard, you know, robo investing, uh, all these crazy, you know, uh, new, tech, you know, platforms that are only possible because of technology. So take a listen to that the podcast if you are interested on in how we invest our money and we are investing our own money and talking about it. So you can actually see a screenshot of my personal Vanguard account and you can see how it's grown uh, over the months and I'll be updating this more often if you guys are interested. But if you sign up for the email list at investlikeaboss.com, I actually send you a monthly summary of all my investment, all my new ones, uh, what's going up or down, so you can really get like insider access. So technically the profit from my investments this month was about 500 bucks. So yes, I lost $2,000 worth of income from my dropshipping store, but the money that I got from it, 60,000, that can make a couple hundred bucks a month just in growth or uh, dividends or interest and things like that. So that that is my my goal is to t 
to have that money work for me. So instead of me working to make a couple thousand dollars, I would like my money to make me a couple thousand dollars a month. And that is the, the new goal. So my other source is YouTube, uh, $89. I have my affiliate income, which is so great for me because it's like one of those things where it, I could not have envisioned a better job in the world than to share what has worked for me and just help other people get started. Because when I first got started with online business just three years ago, I was so lost. I had no idea what to use, how to learn things, uh, what you know programs to to sign up for. All these things were so new to me, and I wish there was someone out there that could have just taken the time to teach it to me, especially with someone who's more successful has done it already. But the problem is they're busy because they're working trying to make, you know, uh, pay their own bills and make money. Now, what's great about being an earnest affiliate is you can recommend things that generally work and get rewarded for taking your time to create like these video guides or create a podcast or write a book or create, you know, like templates or whatever whatever it is and be able to not only help people out who are just starting but really build their trust. And here's a big secret on why I made $14,000 this month in affiliate commissions. A lot of these people are not just buying one thing through my one of my links and then, you know, n- disappearing forever. A lot of these people are buying something and, 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 they're, and they get an, an ROI from it. They get a return on their investment. They're like, wow, Johnny, that recommendation you made is making me now more money because of the course you had me take. Now I'm, you know, I have a full-time, uh, full stream of income. What else are you recommending that I can get an ROI from? Like, oh, you're recommending this program and this book and then they learn from it and then they come back and people keep coming back and buying other things through my links because I only recommend what earnestly works, what will actually give them results. And that's such an amazing feeling knowing that even though I haven't worked at all these last two weeks, I haven't updated you know anything, I haven't like, I, I had just been off, off pretty much offline for the last two weeks and I still made 14 grand just in affiliate commissions. Now, every month it's gonna go up and down. Uh, last month, actually, I had an even you know, more amazing month, uh, but trust me, I, I'm so happy and I'm so fortunate, so honored. Uh, I feel so blessed to have this income. So here's some examples of, the, of some of my affiliate income sources. The top one is from Amazon. Every time I recommend a book or something, I, I use one of my Amazon affiliate links. Uh, and if you wanna see all the case studies, you know, I have five in there that I show you exactly what I'm promoting, how I'm doing, how I'm getting free traffic, how I'm you know getting approved by these affiliate networks. Check out my course, it's Earnest Affiliate. Now with my courses, uh, I also make money from my two courses that are not on Udemy. I've Optimized Like a Boss and I have Earnest Affiliate. In total, I made about $1,257 from it. What's really cool though is, is getting messages like this where people buy the courses and they, you know, they actually go through it, they actually take the action and they tell me that, hey, it worked. Thank you so much, Johnny. It, it, you know this actually worked, and this is why I recommend things. You know, or I, I build these courses because that I generally, you know, because I have the free time and the knowledge to do it. I want everyone else to come up to this exact same level because we can all lift each other up. So in total, my passive income for June for the last thirty days, nineteen thousand two hundred and ninety nine dollars. Which to me is insane because I've been traveling. I've been on tours every day. And let me tell you what my day's been like. I've been waking up at 10 a.m. because we've been drinking $1 sangrias all night. And then I'll go on a walking tour uh, of the city or I'll go sailing or I'll go to the aquarium for the day or I'll go you know, find the, the oldest patient's drop. And to be able to still make this amount of passive income while being able to do that to me, to me is so amazing. Now, my expenses this month were quite a bit higher. Um, I, first off, I bought a new pair of Bose uh, noise canceling headphones. They're the first wireless Bluetooth uh, noise canceling headphone by Bose. Been waiting for these to come out for a long time, and I bought these at the airport in Amsterdam. Uh, they're actually cheaper if you buy it in the US or through this Amazon link. So it's only three forty nine there. Uh, mine was a little bit more expensive because it was in euros, and it's three forty nine euros. But it was absolutely worth it. These are these things are amazing. Great battery life. They last about twenty hours. So as long as you don't forget to switch them off at night, they last forever. The noise canceling 
is so vital, especially if you're traveling or on a plane and you don't want, um, you know, you, you don't want the, the constant hum of the engines or the loud noises in the background. If you're at a co-working space, you want some quiet. These are probably one of the best investments I've ever made. So I, I bought that about 390 bucks. Uh, I also flew business class uh, from Bangkok to uh, Lisbon. So that was quite a bit. It was about, what was it, $1,800 um, or 1900 almost $2,000 for that flight. And it was one way too, but it was so worth it. You know, it, the difference between flying coach and flying business class on a long flight like this, like a 15-hour flight, is I looked forward to it and I enjoyed everything every moment of being on that plane the entire 15 hours i was enjoying it i was getting fed amazing food you know great drinks and these wide comfortable chairs i was able to lay it completely flat and go to sleep you know and then wake up to breakfast and then watch a movie and it's just it was so comfortable so this should be a goal for every single person even if you don't think you want to fly business class you don't think you don't think you need it just write down as a goal because when you write down goals, that is how you make things happen. And I wrote a post called Why You Should Always Fly Business Class way before I could actually afford it. But that was a goal and it's, and it stuck. What's funny is uh, learning from Sam Marks, instead of just bawling out, staying at expensive hotel rooms all the time, I started staying in dorms again. <laughs> and even though I could afford to, you know, to stay in a hotel, Europe's expensive. And I thought, you know what? Instead of paying 120 euros a night for a hotel room that I'm never going to be in because I wake up, I'm gone. And then not meeting anyone because everyone else is, you know, there with their, their families around business. Why not stay in a dorm? So you know, sometimes I'll stay in a private room if I, if I want some privacy or, if, you know, if I just want a, some more comfort. And it's about 50 euros a night or, you know, about 50 bucks a night. But most nights it's been staying in dorm. It's like you know, it's like twenty euros a night or twenty you know twenty dollars a night. Uh, right now the the euro to the dollar is so close. It's one dollar is a little just like ten percent less. So so it's one euro one euro thirteen cents is a dollar. Um, is is one euro? Sorry, one dollar and thirteen uh, cents US is one euro. So it's almost exactly the same. It's like by like it's by like ten percent, and. What that allows me to do is it allows me to have all these experiences. So instead of spending all my money on housing, I get to spend it, you know, eating the greatest food, you know, drinking nice wine. Uh, I can treat, you know, friends out who I meet traveling, especially, you know, like when you meet like backpackers and they can't really afford, you know, to, to have a nice dinner or drink. It's so nice to be able to just have that extra money to be able to do stuff. And that is why I also donate. So every single month I donate to the Moy to this little Muay Thai gym in Isan. If you want to click the link, you can help them out as well. Uh, Isan is the poorest province in Thailand, and even though I'm not in Thailand now, uh, I, I you know it's one of those places where Muay Thai has, has taught me so much about you know building character, setting goals, war, hard work, and Thailand has you know welcomed me as a second home. So. I really appreciate, you know, I really appreciate the country. And that's why I also donate to Warm Hearts Worldwide towards the bio char projects. Because even though burning season has ended, it's only from February to, to April. And, you know, every year I just leave for it anyways. It's such a bad thing for the country. So if I could just donate a little bit of money and have them, you know, find alternatives to, to the crop burning, you know, that makes me so happy. Uh, I've also been sending a thousand dollars to my parents every single month, uh, mainly to my mom, just so she can retire and not work her you know part time job anymore because she's getting older. You know, she's having foot problems. I don't I don't want her standing at a restaurant waitressing anymore, especially if you know I can afford to to help her out with her you know her expenses. So every month I've been giving them a thousand dollars, and they're going to be coming to Europe this summer. So more on that later. But if you want to check out my Instagram, this is where. I do updates every day because it's so easy. It's fun. You know, it's, you know, usually it's not anything business related. It's just me traveling. So if you want to see what I'm currently up to, like pretty much live, you know, I either post it right away or, you know, within a few hours, whenever uh, I have a second, but look for Johnny FDK on Instagram. And that is where uh, you can see what I've been up to while traveling. And if you just look on the blog, johnnyfd.com, that's when, you know, I do the mega posts. I do the mega posts on my travel guide to Lisbon with everything I did, how much everything was, how much I spent, you know, how I got there. And that's where I make my, my mega YouTube video where I'll, you know, wrap up, 
you know, a whole country in a five or seven minute video. So that is really it. You know, I'm, I'm so excited to be able to share this with you guys. I'm so happy to be here in Europe. And I'm so happy that you guys are all following the journey. So I would like to see these big numbers for every single person following this. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're up to, what your goals are, what questions you have, how I can help. Uh, and, you know, where else should you see in Europe? Because I'm going to be just traveling. To be honest, I'm not going to work too much this month either. I'm just going to chill. And hopefully this passive income will still stay high, even though I'm not going to be working at all. I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.